Hello, boys and girls. So we've been talking about something very special in music. We've been talking about tone color. Tone color is what something sounds like. And we have experimented with wooden sounds and metal sounds and drum sounds and shaking sounds, all kinds of different tone colors in the music room. Well, we're gonna use some of those tone colors with a very special story today. And this is a pretty fun activity. I have a very special book called The Snowy Day. The Snowy Day. Now I have a question. Does it snow here in Florida? Does it? Have you ever seen snow here in Florida? I haven't. I know it gets a little bit cold, but I've never seen snow in Florida. But I did see snow when I used to live in, a, in the state of Ohio kind of up north, I got to see snow. If you've ever seen snow, can you raise your hand? Raise your hand. If you've seen snow. I hope that everybody gets to experience a snowy day because snow is actually fun to play in. Now moms and dads, they don't like the snow. It's not fun to drive in. It's not fun to go to work in the snow, but it is fun to play in. So I want to read this book to you called The Snowy Day. And I want you to get to see all of the really cool things that my friend Peter gets to do on his snowy day. Cause you know, up north when it snows, they cancel school. There's no school. It's kind of like a hurricane day down here, but you still got your electricity. All right, the snowy day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It was covering everything for as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snow, snow, his snow suit, a snow suit, gosh, we don't have those here in Florida. He put on his snow suit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 crunch. His feet sank down into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. And he walked with his toes pointing in like that, little arrows. So making footprints in the snow, that's a lot of fun to do. Footprints are fun. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks in the sand, or sand, sand is in Florida, to make tracks in the snow. And he found something sticking out of the snow that would make a new track. I wonder what that is, because he's got a third line there. What do you think he found? It was a stick. A stick that was just the right size for smacking the snow-covered trees, tapping the snow out of the trees. That's a lot of fun too. I've done that before. Down fell the snow, plop, right on Peter's head. So he made some more tracks. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he really wasn't old enough yet. They're getting him in the snowball fight. So instead, he made a smiling snowman. And he made snow angels. Those are so much fun, so much fun. He pretended he was a mountain climber and he climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid down the other side. He picked up a handful of snow and another and another and he packed it round and firm and made the best snowball ever. And he put it in his pocket to have for tomorrow. Then he went into inside his nice warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. 
And he thought and thought and thought all about the fun things he did that day. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket, but it was empty. The snowball wasn't there. It made Peter very sad. I wonder what happened to Peter's snowball. What do you think happened to Peter's snowball? While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted away all the snow. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow had even fallen. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went outside together into the deep, deep snow and played again on a snowy day. So I have a couple questions. What do you think happened to Peter's snowball? Hmm, what happened to the snowball he put in his pocket? What, what'd you say? <gasps> yes, it melted. It melted because his house was nice and warm and the snowball needed to be where it was really cold. Now I have another question for you. We have four seasons. We have summer, we have spring, we have fall, we have winter. Which one of those seasons would we find a snowy day? Which season? Hmm, summertime? You think it's summer? No, I don't either. I don't think it's summer. Mm -mm. Do you think it's springtime when all the flowers are starting to bloom? No, I don't think it's springtime either. Oh, I know. It's in the fall when the leaves turn the pretty colors. No, you don't think it's that either? Well, then that only leaves one, winter. Yes, that would be correct. The snow falls in winter time. So we're gonna actually use some pretty cool tone colors and act out our story. Let's talk about some of the things that Peter did in the story. Hmm, what are some of the things he did? <gasps> he made a snowman. He made snow angels. He made tracks in the snow. Oh, he knocked all the snow out of the tree right onto his head. He made tracks with a stick too. Yeah. I think he got into a snowball fight too, but he really wasn't ready for the snowball fight. Oh, he slid down a big hill of snow. Those are all really fun things to do. But Miss Light is going to pick three things from the story and we're gonna add some tone colors. So I have this beautiful metal instrument. This is called a wind chime and it's made of metal bars and just listen to the pretty sound it makes. And I am going to use the wind chime as the sound for making snow angels in the snow. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to make a snow angel. You gotta lay down on your bed or maybe on the floor of your room. And when you hear me play the, the wind chime, I want you to lay there and make a beautiful snow angel. You know how to do it with you move your arms and, and your legs back and forth to make a snow angel. I want you to try to make a snow angel every time I play the wind chimes. Let's practice. All right, jump on your bed or jump on the floor. Here we go. Are you making those snow angels right now? Make those snow angels. Good job. Okay, come back. Come back where you can see me. Oh, yep. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. They'll make noise all the time if I don't stop them. So our metal wind chimes, that is a metal tone color. So do you remember in the story where Peter picked up a stick, a wood stick, and he tapped the snow out of the tree? He had to reach really high to tap the snow out of the tree. 
Well, the stick was made of wood, right? And he was tapping a wooden tree. So let's use, no, not you, not you, wind chimes. We're gonna use for tapping the tree, when, when Peter tapped the tree, I'm gonna use a wood block. So can you pretend to knock the snow out of the tree when I play the wood block? Keep tapping that tree, come on. Knock that snow out. Let me see you reach up high. Let me see you reach up high and tap the tree. Plop. Snow just fell on your head. You better go get a towel and wipe all the snow off your head. You got snow on your head. So the wood sound is gonna be for tapping the tree. You remember what the metal sound was for? The metal sound, that was for making snow angels. The wood sound, tapping the tree. And now my drum sound. This is a bongo drum. And my bongo drum, we're going to use that tone color for making tracks in the snow. Do you remember how he made tracks and he pointed his feet out? He did this. He pointed his feet out like this. And then he pointed his feet in like this. So he made tracks and he made funny little footprints and then he drug the stick in the snow and made a track. So when I play on the drum, on the bongo drum, I want you to pretend, stand up and make your feet do funny things. Make them turn out and make them turn it and make tracks around your room. Can you make tracks? Let's try. When you hear the drum, will you make some tracks? Make them really fast. sound stops, I want you to freeze. Make tracks when you hear my sounds, my drum sounds, but freeze when they stop. All right, now I'm gonna make the game a little bit trickier. I'm gonna hide behind the board with my instruments. So you're not gonna get to see the metal sound, the wood sound, or the drum sound. You just have to listen. And I'm gonna play one of my instruments and your job is to do what Peter did in the snow that matches the sound that I'm playing. So every time I play the drum, I want you to make tracks in the snow. Every time I play the wood block, every time I play the wood block, I want you to smack the tree and get the snow out of the tree. And every time I play the wind chime, I want you to make a snow angel. But you're not gonna get to see me play these instruments, you're only gonna get to hear me only gonna get to hear me. Are you ready to play this game? Are you? Okay, give Miss Light a minute because she's got to move her instruments and she's gonna move them behind the board where you can't see them. I'm back. I'm just moving them again. Gonna move my bongo drums behind the board where you can't see them. you're doing some of Peter's things because I'm gonna put the book up here. Well, maybe I'm gonna try to put the book right there. Can you see the book? All right, now here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna play a sound and you're gonna have to do what that tone color tells you to do. Let's review. The metal wind chime, the metal sound is a snow angel. The wood sound is smack in the tree and the bongo drum sound is making tracks in the snow. I'm watching you on the camera to see you do this. I wanna watch you do this. Make all these lovely snow day things when you hear the sound. When the sound stops, you gotta freeze. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? Can you see me over here? Can you? I'm right here. You can't see my instruments but you can hear them. So are we ready? All right, here we go, here's the first sound. I see you.
If you made tracks in the snow, you got it right. Good job, that was the wood sound. All right, let's try another sound. Okay, what did you do that time? What did you do that time? You made tracks in the snow? You know what, I think we got the first one wrong. Did Miss Light say tracks in the snow for the wood sound? I think she did. I think she might have messed up. The wood sound, and you guys already caught me, didn't you? You're all there saying, but wait a minute, that's the wrong one! The wood sound was supposed to be smacking the tree, Miss Light. So, uh, we messed up. You didn't mess up. You got it right. I got it wrong. The bongo sound was tracks in the snow. Listen again. I was just trying to trick you, but I know I didn't trick you. That was tracks in the snow. Very good. You got that one right. All right, I'm going to try another one. If you're smacking that tree and you're getting that snow out of the tree, good for you. Good for you, because that was right that time. Miss Light didn't mess up that time. All right, let's try another one, and I'm going to try to trick you. I'm going to try. Just give me a minute. I'm going to try to trick you. Oh, what beautiful snow angels you're making. Beautiful snow angel. That's right. That was the metal sound. The metal sound was for the snow angels. Good job. All right. So woods, let's get this right this time. The wood sound is for the tree. The drum sound is for the tracks. And the metal sound is for the snow angels. Let's do it again. Let me see if you can do it. I'm watching. I'm watching you on the screen right now to see if you can do this. Let's try it one more time. All right, I'm going to try to trick you. Oh, what beautiful snow angels you just made. That was the metal sound if you were making snow angels. Give yourself a air five. Good job. All right, I'm gonna do another sound now. Let's see. I love the tracks you just made in the snow. Yep, that was the drum sound. All right, I'm gonna try to trick you, so don't let me trick you. you were expecting the wood sound and I played the drum sound again so you should still be making those tracks. All right, here's another one. Good job getting that snow, smacking it out of that tree with that stick. All right, I'm really proud of you. You did an awesome job showing me that you could tell what the sounds were. You could tell that the metal sound was for the snow angel, that the wooden sound was for smacking the tree, and that the drum sound was for making tracks. And you got it right when I messed up. Good for you. Well, I'm telling you, this is a fun book. This is a really fun book. It's a great book. And it's even a reading counts book. So when you do come back to school, you can read it again and take the reading counts